rules can feel constraining. But remember, the point of this course is to learn how to write clearly and persuasively. Think about that. Think about the truth of your argument. You're an amazing personality. I couldn't ask for a more incredible honor. Are you actually trying to parent me right now? Who would want me to be a part of their life? You don't stay in touch with mom? She really only tells me things about you. Why? Because that's all I want to know about. Why'd you give her the lead? Someone close to me passed away and had an effect on me. You haven't seen her since she was eight years old and you're going to reconnect with her? Sorry. I don't like this. This isn't a good idea. I'm sorry. You say you're sorry one more time. I'm going to shove a knife right into you. I swear to God. Go ahead. What's it going to do? My internal organs are two feet in at least. <laughs> Why do you suddenly need to see her so bad? Why now? that she's forgotten what an amazing person she is. I need to know that she's gonna have a decent life where she cares about people and that she's gonna be okay. Even watching that preview after having seen the movie, it still gets me. I don't know that it's a movie I could watch twice. Because it hit a very personal note with me. I don't normally review movies, it's rare. But on this movie, I absolutely feel qualified to review. Because I am a bigger person, and I have been a much bigger person. And I saw myself... Back when I was married, most definitely headed in the direction that the character uh, Brendan Fraser plays, Charlie. And it is, it, it's a frightening feeling. I could see myself being homebound and dying because of my weight um, and my biggest I was 404 pounds um, now I am 315 um, it's still something that I'm working on uh, the movie this is before before I continue I want to say this is an absolute spoiler. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. If you do not want to know what happens in the movie or how the movie ends, I suggest you don't watch this video any further. Stop. Don't watch. I'm warning you now, so don't leave me hate in the comments about the spoilers because I'm warning you now, okay? Um, come back and watch the review and leave me your thoughts after you've seen the movie, okay? So... Moving forward now, spoilers ahead. Um, Charlie has a daughter whom he left when she was eight. Um, him and, he and her mom got divorced uh, before he gained all the weight because he fell in love with one of his students who was a man. And uh, apparently, from what I gather in watching the movie, uh, the, the part, his partner had mental health issues. So that's another thing this film brings up, really, is mental health issues. And this was such a devastating event for Charlie uh, that he basically seemed like he gave up on life on himself he started eating to cope um, Charlie is a an online English teacher and with his laptop he keeps his camera off but tells the students that the camera's broken and when he finally does at the end of the movie reveal himself 
to his students um, you can see some of this you can actually see some of the students taking pictures with their phones some of them are laughing and others look concerned um, uh, and His, he hadn't seen his daughter in like so so long and um, so he like give offers her all the money in his bank account and all the money he's been saving from working as a teacher because he doesn't go anywhere you know he just pays his basic bills and so he had like a hundred twenty thousand in the bank and um, was gonna give it all to his daughter just for her to spend time with him because he knows he's dying, he he develops congestive heart failure. Not be, the woman that is taking care of him is his partner's sister, and she cares about him very much. And you can tell she cares about him very much. Um, and she's also a nurse, and so she would come in, and listen to his heart, listen to his breathing and stuff. And um, Whether he, if he laughs or gets excited or whatever, it's too much on his heart, you know, and he starts choking and coughing and, um, and he almost does choke in one scene and it, it shows really how difficult it is to give the Heimlich to a person that heavy, um, you know, she has to rock him and get him to roll over to, to knock himself against the arm of the couch and, um, to get the food out and these two are very close she she is so grateful to Charlie because of the love that he gave her brother while he was alive and she said she you know I guess he felt guilt about it too he tried to he tried to save him you know and he makes a good point in the movie that no one person can save anybody. You know, and that, that's a really good point because a person has to want to be saved. They've got to do it themselves. And then, and so back to Liz. Liz is her name. Now, I, I recognize Liz right away as the an enabler because Charlie doesn't... He can order food, which he does, and but, but he doesn't... He can't go grocery shopping because of his size. And she brings him these meatball subs with cheese, and, and she brings him his food to him. And 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 I was actually kind of irritated with her her character because I'm like, Liz is an enabler here, you know. But I I mean I don't know. He refused to go to the doctor. He absolutely would not go to the hospital because he didn't want to spend any of the money that he had saved. He wanted it all to go to his daughter. And I guess, I guess he just, Charlie is someone to me who seems like he just gave up. And there's one part that I totally can relate to. There's one part in the movie and it's, I believe it's essentially, I think it's his last day of life. Um, if not, it's the day before. And, um, He's so angry at his condition, you know, and I think the subject of, of his, of Alan, this is his partner's name, of Alan's death was brought up, and and so he just starts eating this, this pizza he, that he ordered, eating the pizza, eating the pizza, and then he was on the second pizza, and he just sits in front of the fridge on this big wheelchair that he's in, and just pouring ranch dressing on it, and he just eating and eating until he finally throws up. The reason I can relate to that is because back when I was in, I was still in high school. And that's when Richard Simmons was all the rave. The, the deal meal, anybody remember that? And I had become so tired of hearing put downs at school. It was bad enough we were a poor family and couldn't dress part you know that couldn't wear the latest fashion but I was also big 
and I and combine those two insults I, I was called some horrible names and <laughs> having a name like Dreama which I've I've loved my name I love my name adults appreciate my name but kids can be very cruel so I would hear you know daydream or nightmare things like that and even thinking back to it it bothers me but <laughs> that was eons ago but I would be made fun of for my weight every day I hated school I hated school I was so happy on the day of graduation just because I knew that I'd be going out to the adult world and I would not have to hear that nonsense again at least not to my face and so I, one day I uh, after school I had gotten so I was so depressed and so mad at myself and, and depressed about being overweight I fixed like this humongous meal for myself. I don't know where everybody was. I guess my mom with dad was at work or mom was out doing God knows what. But I was eating. Just I, I fixed an entire pack of bacon. I remember for this moment sticks in my head like a replay of a movie. And this and this was ten twenty thirty Three, 32, 33 years ago. Um, but it was like a whole pack of bacon, like four eggs. Um, I don't even know how many pieces of bread. Some grits, I remember. <laughs> um, and milk. I probably drank two glasses of milk with all that. And even now, thinking about it, it makes my throat close up. And I enjoyed it thoroughly while I was eating it. And then I felt guilty. The guilt, guilt came. And I don't know if I ever told anybody this story or not. But then I went to the bathroom. I told one person that was Richard Simmons. I'll get to that. Um, I went to the bathroom and made myself throw, throw up. Disgusting. Milk coming back up. Um, and, it, and I was like, I was crying and I thought I have sunk to a, to a new low and I was scared of what kind of pattern I was then setting for myself and what my future was going to be if I was going to have one. I'm a pretty smart cookie I think so I recognized like with the drinking wine I knew a pattern was beginning and I stopped I knew then that, you know, eating and then making myself throw up, I knew, okay, this is the beginning of something. I need help, like now. And I think I'm a pretty strong person, too. So, I wrote a letter to Richard Simmons explaining what had just happened, pouring my heart out to him, telling him that I was deeply afraid. I was just a kid still, you know. And I received... A free deal meal box in the mail. My mom was all very suspicious, you know, and and comes in there. It's like, why is Richard Simmons sending you a deal meal? How did you pay for this? I'm like, Mom, I didn't pay for it. He just sent it. And uh, it's a whole nother view. Just trying to explain to my mom what what, what I was dealing with was just a pointless thing so I just you just don't <laughs> so anyway um so yeah so watching Charlie eat and eat and eat oh my god oh it just brought back that that memory that moment and I thought I was going to throw up right there watching the movie in you know I was in my bedroom and I thought I was going to be sick right there just, just from the, the the memory of it I could still feel that you know and um and then he threw up not on purpose he just had eaten so dang much he was threw up in the trash can um and then 
I wanted to get back to the pizza guy, the guy that I assume he did this. He was doing this every night. He did it every night for the movie starts on a Tuesday, ends on a Friday. Um, so that's the length of Charlie's life that we get to see. And um, the pizza guy would always get the money from the mailbox, leave the pizza on the porch, and Charlie would get the pizza and bring it in. He would say, money's in the mailbox. You know, the guy would, are you okay in there? Are you okay in there? Seemed to be really concerned. Um, the last time this happened, Charlie went to get the pizza off the porch, and he's, he's, he just wheels himself out. And he looks up, and the, the delivery guy is standing on the steps waiting to see him. And the delivery guy and Charlie make eye contact. And the, the delivery guy just, like, yeah, I, it, to me it looked like he, like, shudders, like, ugh, and takes off. That's what I saw. If, if you saw something different, let me know. But that's what it seemed to me. Um, and... That, I think that was when Charlie just went in and, and just decided, just ate and ate and ate and ate. Um, then there's his eight-year-old daughter that he, when he thinks that he, he's going to die, like right then, he picks up this essay and starts reading it, and it's something that his daughter wrote. You don't know that until the end of the movie. So fast forward to the day that he dies I told you this was a lot of spoilers so fast forward to the day that he dies his daughter is reading she she is see when she first gets to his house and she first sees him she's standing in the doorway and she tells like get up walk over here to me she's being very demanding and he can't, he tries. And she moves his walker. She's like, no, do it without this. And she tries. And she moves his walker out, out of the way. And he can't get up. He breaks the table trying to get up. And at the end of the movie, after he has... He and his daughter have spent some time together. She's just a very angry young woman. Young teenager. And she's determined to hate hate him. But her not knowing all of the circumstances. But he's not completely innocent either. Um, but, but again, he wasn't given all of the information either. So, and you'll, you'll learn more about all that when you watch the movie. But I don't want to go into all that. I want to get skipped to the end of the movie. Charlie's dying. Liz is there. His daughter storms in. And she's like, what's wrong with him? And Liz is like, he's dying. Like, now he's dying right now. He's sweating profusely. He's removed his oxygen because he knows he's he's dying. I guess he doesn't want to prolong it. He's pale. Like, pale, pale. And, uh... He asked her to read the essay. She never forgets anything. She, she's got a very, very good memory. And because she wants him, the whole reason she's there is so he'll do her homework for her. Because she was failing in, in school. And he was paying her to be there. And um, she wants him to write her essay for her. So she, so he gives her this essay. She brings it back. And she she fails it. She, it was, she, the teacher didn't like it. She failed it. And he told her, he said, this is the best essay it's a good essay. It's the best essay I've ever read. And he gives it to her and, and he knows he's dying and it's, it's the last thing that he wants to hear. Whenever he thought he was dying at that moment, he would start either reciting the essay to himself or reading it. So he gives it to her he, and he says, read it. You'll, you'll recognize it. You'll... And, so she starts reading it and she realizes it's her essay. She wrote that, those words. And it's about Moby Dick. And she's giving a very honest, her very honest opinion about the essay. And how he, she believed that he was just hiding his own sad life from everyone. 
and in now remember how it said in the beginning he couldn't walk to her now so she's standing she's she's ready to leave she turns she's like i don't care if you're dying i don't care if you're dying and she gets to the door she opens the door and the, the light from outside is coming in the door and she's facing out out and she's like she's crying and she's like daddy please or something like that but she called him daddy and she turns around she turns around and he gets up and she, she starts she's reading the essay and he gets up with every last bit of strength that he has putting all this pressure on his already failing heart he stands up and he takes this step towards her and he managed to take two or three steps and just and she walks towards him still reading the essay to him and then he walks the rest of the way and so they're in front of each other and she's reading the essay and then he remembers he was telling her before about a, his favorite moment was when they were on the beach together and um, so that that was the last time that they were all together and The last thing you see is Charlie's feet lifting up off the ground. And then the scene flashes towards that scene of them on the beach. And my thought went to, he died right there in front of his daughter. We don't see that, but we know that's what happened. And like, do you ever, when you watch a movie and the movie ends, in your mind, do you kind of make up what happened after? <laughs> That's what I was doing. I was like, oh, you know, thinking of how she must have felt to watch her dad die. And, of course, having lost my own father and my stepdad, the emotions just... And the fact that in a month it will be the 18th anniversary of my own dad's passing the emotions just went whoosh yeah. and I was bawling <laughs> I was bawling like a baby like a teething baby um, but I can tell you Brandon Fraser gave the performance of his life in this movie he put it, all of himself into this movie and all of the characters all of the actors are to be commended but but Brandon Fraser oh my god phenomenal and hopefully you did not watch this review without seeing the movie if you did even with the spoilers go see it or you can buy it from Amazon now which is how I watched it which means I have it now <laughs> um, but but you you should watch it and if you watch this movie and feel no compassion or sympathy if it doesn't make you look at yourself if you're not overweight if it doesn't make you look at yourself and how you treat others and and your goals for your life something missing in you the whale I give it rave reviews.